Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Dusty here. Today I'm going to be talking about the best audio settings for OBS. So a lot of people have asked me, what do you do with your audio? How do you make your microphone and computer audio sound the best that it possibly can in your streams, in your recordings, utilizing OBS? If you don't know what OBS is, it is open broadcast software, the free software that I use and a lot of people use to stream on YouTube and Twitch. So today we're going to be focusing on strictly audio. So if you want a full OBS tutorial, how to use it, I'll have that linked up in the annotations and in the description of this video. So when we're talking audio, basically the front facing, you know, settings for audio will be here under your mixer. So as you can see here in the mixer segment of OBS, you can see I can kind of scroll down here. We can see the different audio channels that are available to us. Now, if we go to settings, which is the first place we're going to start this video. So open up OBS, go to settings. And then when you've opened up settings, go to obviously audio. So click on audio there. We're going to see a few different things. You're going to see sample rate 44 point one leave that alone you're going to see channels stereo now dependent on how you're going to export your recordings maybe you want to do this in mono mono if you export later on but honestly i'd leave it at stereo to make your life that much simpler now desktop audio device number one which is this guy here the first one that's going to be your computer so if you are streaming a video game which is probably what a lot of you are doing this is going to be that audio of your computer now we can have manual control over that sound once we set it up in this settings section here so for me it's coming out of my speakers so i plug my headphones in my Logitech speaker port there, and then I can hear it. And then what's coming out of that is what my audience or viewer is going to hear as well. So for me, under desktop audio device, it is my speakers. Now, you may have it coming out of your audio interface or something of that nature. And if that's the case, click the drop down menu and select the correct or you know dependent audio source that you're going to use for your computer audio. I rarely ever use desktop audio device too, but if you have multiple audio devices, if you're doing console stuff things like that maybe you play around with that but for the most part choose desktop audio device one now this one's probably the most important mic or auxiliary audio device now for me i am plugging my microphone that you see here in the webcam into a scarlet 2i2 which is an, what we call an audio interface so it allows me to go in with xlr or microphone cable into my audio interface which then plugs in via usb to my pc that's how all of that works. Now, everything else here below that, I would not mess with. If you're getting into that kind of stuff, then you're getting into the weeds a little bit and you really probably don't need this video. So once you've got all of this set up here, go ahead and hit apply and then hit OK. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be able to manually adjust your audio. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger for you guys. Right here where you see mic slash auxiliary, that's going to be your mic volume. Now, for me, I'm recording with a separate microphone for the purposes of this tutorial. But what you're going to see is if we actually talk through the microphone that I have, you know, hooked up to the OBS here, you're going to see it ping. You're going to see green lines come up or, you know, illuminated lines come up on this line. You want to keep those in between right here in the yellow. So if you're in the yellow, you are in good spot. If you are in the red up here, you're peaking a little bit. You want to kind of take it down a little bit. And if you're in the green, you're a little low. So you can adjust the max and min volume using this slider below the mic slash aux category. I normally keep mine about right here, probably around 80 to 85%. Next is your desktop audio. If I go over here and if I open up a browser source, like let's just say I go ahead and open up, let's say YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up YouTube here on my computer. And we're gonna go ahead and go to one of my videos. So let's go ahead and go to my channel here. And let me explain to you guys, show you guys kind of what's going on. So I'll open up my video player here on YouTube. And then if we go here and we play one of these videos, you are going to see here that if I play the video, you're going to see that it's starting to peak here in OBS. This means that it's in the yellow, which is good. That's where I want it to be. 
If I decrease the volume using this slider, you're going to see it decrease into the green. If I increase it, you're going to see it increase into the yellow, which is where I like it. Now, remember, you're probably going to be talking over it. So what you'll need to do is play around with this volume. I normally keep mine about right here, about you know 65 to 70 percentile. Keep it a little bit below the yellow. That way, it doesn't go too crazy when I'm trying to talk over the game. And a lot of game sounds can be extremely loud. And then lastly is your webcam. The only reason you would want to mess with that is if you're using your webcam's audio to actually distribute the audio to your stream. So that would be the only reason you would do that. And then lastly, I want to make and show you guys how to make your voice sound good by utilizing filters provided by OBS. Now, a lot of people ask me that come into my stream, they say, Dusty, why do you sound so good? A lot of it is microphone. A lot of it is my recording space. But a lot of it is the settings that I have or filters that I've applied to my microphone. So if we go right here under mic slash auxiliary, we click the gear icon or the little co cog wheel or whatever you want to call it, and then go down to filters. If we click on that, you're going to see that I have three separate filters applied to my microphone. I have a noise suppression, I have a noise gate, and I also have a compressor. Now, I'm not saying you need to go out and add all of these. It's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, again, up to your recording space, you know, what kind of microphone you have. So you'll need to, you know, adjust the settings to your likings. But let's go ahead and dive into these. And first, let me show you how to add one. So to add a filter to your microphone, go to the addition symbol here, click the addition symbol, and then you'll see the few different ones that you have here. The ones that we're going to focus on are compressor, noise gate, and suppression. Noise suppression is going to be the first one. So go ahead and click noise suppression. That will add the noise suppression filter. As you can see here, the suppression level or you know decibels I have set to negative 20. So what this does is that it eliminates a lot of the background noise. Now, just natively, it's going to be set to negative 30. So when you add the noise suppression, you're going to see it add to negative 30. I've taken mine you know, up a little bit to negative 20 because with my recording space, I don't really have that much background noise. But if you have more background noise, maybe you want to decrease it even more. Just be careful if you get below that negative 30 or negative 40 range, it ends up clipping your audio and the microphone doesn't pick up your voice, which definitely would be a bad thing. So keep it anywhere between 20 and 30. Maybe 25 is a good place. Place to start out and then when you're ready and done go ahead and you know you're done with that one that's the noise suppression next is going to be a noise gate so hit the addition symbol go to noise gate now once you open up your noise gate let me explain this a little more uh, being someone who loves audio I try to make my audio sound as good as possible I'm not saying this is necessary but let me explain why it would be so a noise gate allows you to, like when you're silent, like when you're not saying anything during your stream, you're in an intense moment, something's going on, your dog's barking, some you know, ambient noise or whatever you want to call it, it's not going to be picked up through your mic. So it's going to make those silent times where basically you have a situation to where if you're quiet during your stream, it's going to be completely silent. And then it'll only pick up your voice. And so the close threshold, which is the first option here in decibels, again, is set to negative 32. Now, again, you choose kind of where you want this to be. You'll have to play around with this a little bit to get it set for you. And the open threshold I have set to negative 29. So the close threshold, again, remember, if you can't hear your voice, make sure, again, that you basically increase this. And then, again, the open threshold is going to be when you speak and you talk into your microphone, you know, when it picks up your microphone. This will make the silence a lot better. And when you speak, it'll make it a lot clearer as well. That's, you know, gonna be a really good thing. And then the last one I want you guys to add is a compressor. Click the addition symbol, go to compressor, the first one here, and then under compressor, this is the one you're going to have to tweak the most. Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, in depth as far as each one of these here, but what you'll want to do is with this compressor, it will make your voice overall sound better. So you have your ratio, your threshold, your attack, your release, your output gain. So a lot of times you hear people have that nice, sultry, deep voice into their microphone. Again, a lot of it is because their recording space, their microphone, but a lot of it is because the post-processing. And some of that is a compressor. It compresses the audio, makes the output sound that much better. So play around with these. And please, for the love of God, before you go live, record, record, record.
That way you have a test of what you sound and look like and you can make the tweaks required to make your audio sound the best it possibly can sound. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Uh, just a fun OBS tutorial on how to make your audio sound good. Hopefully it makes your dulcet tones that much better. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below, like and share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.